Hi everyone. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I just have not been in the mood to make any YouTube videos lately. Don't know why, but I have been doing stuff though. <laughs> this is what I've um, done lately. Um, my inspiration, I have to say, was TH. XT 2003. I hope I got it right. And that's Scrapbooking Diva. Hi Liz. I saw that she had begun her um, mittens and she used the paper from American Crafts. Now it's uh, this paper. And I immediately fell in love with um, the way her project was turning out. So I had to go and get pack and try and do one of my own and this is what I came up with I used these beautiful turkey feathers that I purchased from Target and it comes in a roll this is um, how I bought it it's um, it says 100% turkey feathers that's all it says so um, I use that to put on the sides of my mittens, which makes it look so cute. And this is uh, one of those snowflake foam stickers, and all I did was applied um, glitter and a piece of bling. And I used um, the bead trim and made strips going down to add character to my mitten and color. And on the first page, I gotta say I really love this paper. It's so cute. These little houses are adorable. All I did is cut a piece of, uh, with a piece of chipboard, I used one of my Sizzix dies. I cut this flourish out and used the red pepper paint dabber and then use the Versamark and Stardust embossing powder and that's what uh, I came up with and this piece of glittery paper here is from the Target you get uh, two pieces of 12 by 12 for 99 cents and this is a chipboard heart that I used with one of my Sizzix dies and I did the same thing I did to this and on this one, I stamped with Versamark. I'm not sure if you could tell the detail of the snowflake. I stamped several snowflakes on the paper. Then I used the Stardust Embossing Powder. And this is another one of those foam stickers. And the same paper and a piece of rickrack ribbon with some plastic snowflakes and this one they cut a piece of um, chipboard flourish with the white uh, target paper but I wanted more sparkle so I used stickles to give it more dimension and more um, sparkle this was from the Prima Poinsettias, and for this tag I used one of my house mouse stamps, I love, and I used um, liquid applique, I don't know if you could see the little hat, it has like a cute puffy look on it, and the heart I used the same technique as I used on my first page. And I used uh, pop dots to give it a raised look. And I left the back blank because I want to put a picture on there. As well as add a picture on here. Or I might use uh, journaling in the back of a tag. And here, this is one of my Sizzix dies also. I used the liquid applique on here. And I used some of that crystal glitter 
um, I'm not sure what it's called, to make it look like it's got snow on the tips of the gloves. And I use the same thing for my flourish. And I left this uh, open so that if I decide to put a big picture on here, it slides through. And this one, I used a piece of chipboard, painted it with snow cap uh, dabber. Is that the color? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, snow cap. And then I used my stickles and a piece of trim that has kind of like that candy cane look to match the paper. Some poinsettias, prima flowers, and some of these uh, glittery leaves that we all got from Michaels. And on here, my tag fell off. I made this cute little tag for, out of my monkey stamps. And I used the same liquid applique for the snow and these little bits, tiny little pieces. And this hat added glitter for a snow effect as well as the snowflakes. And in the back, I used a journaling spot there. Since there's no room for a picture on here, I'm going to journal about this side. All I did was used a little, put a little bow on here and this was from my Sizzix dye. I used the espresso dabber and then covered it with uh, rock candy. Used the liquid applique to give it the look of um, um, frosting. <laughs> and my red stickles for the hearts. And then I just traced some of that trim around it just to add more interest to it. And on this one, I used one of those paper bags, some more of these glittery flowers or leaves, and added some bling. Made this tag. And added some journaling air spot right there and that's going to be for the other side since as you can see there's no room for a picture on here so I'm going to journal about this picture and on here I cut this tree from one of my Sizzix dies and cut these uh, circles out of Karen Foster foil paper to give it the effect of the ornament ball ornaments and I used some liquid applique for the snow effect and put some candy canes on here and these presents are from an EK Success sticker pack I really like this paper and it's, it's really hard to cover it up so I didn't want to do much to it because it's so pretty and the back, I just put some more of these feathers. And there you go. So that's what I've uh, been doing. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the other thing I'm working on Santa hat. I use the same feather effect on this too makes it look like a real Santa hat. And I'm using the My Mind's Eye paper. All I've done is really just put the paper on here. So this is where I'm at with this. So as of today I haven't seen anyone use this um, look on their mini so I hope you like it. And I'm also going to be filming another video of another mini I made for my sister. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Thank you for watching.